do you look at when um, different leaders in the organization are putting in budget requests? Like, what what do you consider? What are the things that can kind of convince you one way or the other? Uh, my philosophy is more that do it bottom up, but give a clear direction what you expect, right? But don't say, hey, this is the number, but you know, more give kind of a range and let people, uh, department leaders, managers, people in the organization also think about, you know, okay, given the objectives for next year in terms of growth, right? Uh, uh, how can I make it happen, right? So what what can I do in my organization to, to hit that number, to uh, serve your customers better, or serve your employees better, right? Or uh, provide better quality or, or, uh, or, or increase efficiency. So that's, well, that's something that I really like as part of the budgeting process to really think a little bit out of the box uh, uh, rather than uh, just just focus on numbers and, and get that budget uh, that budget done. So, of course, from my own perspective, I'm always thinking about brand, for instance, right? And brand is one of those things that's just really difficult to measure. So how do you go about kind of maybe working with marketing leaders to 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 decide whether or not like brand investment uh, is going to be worthwhile for the business. I think you have to balance it, right? And uh, I think by looking around how other companies are doing it, right? So looking at, at industry data, benchmarks can really help you to get a sense around, okay, you know, which piece of our budget should we invest in things that are more longer term. Uh, and that does not only apply to marketing, for example, but also to HR, right? So for example, if you invest in learning and development, you will, well, they didn't, not get directly a return out of it, right? But it will help you to uh, develop people uh, over a longer period. But yeah, that's an investment you do, right? But if, if there's one thing, if you don't do it right, um, if you don't invest in the longer term, then I think you also, uh, it will be hard for you as a company to exist in the long term. So uh, I would really put a number on it saying, okay, you know, it should be that amount. That's, uh, yeah, that's always, uh, always difficult. Yeah, you hear, I hear a lot of different leaders talking about different ways that they go about that. Like uh, lately, I've heard a lot more people saying like, oh, you know, we just, we've decided we invest 30% of our marketing budget into things that we can't measure, for example. I don't know. Do you have any ideas about things that you've seen people do that make sense to you? Well, I think to me, it's also more important, right? So uh, to, to think about and talk about what are the things you're going to do with the money, right? Rather than just saying, hey, yeah, here's 20%, 30%, right? But really think about more like initiative level or program level, uh, what is the thing you want to do or what's the, the impact you want to make, right? Because if, when you make it smaller, you will be able to uh, to, to measure the, uh, the impact. What are the kinds of um, elements that you really appreciate in those in those sorts of business cases? Um, what what helps you to to understand the value of, a, of an initiative or a project or of a new technology? It, I think it all starts with uh, well, what I really want, you know, also you know, if you talk about empower, empowerment of the business, empowerment of the people, right, that uh, everyone in the organization starts thinking about, hey, you know, what if this is my own money, right, and then uh, I have to spend 500 euros or 1,000 euros or dollars in, in something, right, that people start thinking about, okay, but, you know, what is, what is the effect, right, what is the impact I'm going to make about it, and that's, to me, the most important thing, if you are able to make that change in culture, right? Where we, people really feel responsible about the investments. To me, that's the, the most important thing. And of course, you know, over time, if you make it smaller and set KPIs on initiative level uh, and really try to track them, uh, to me, that is, uh, and, and look at the results of, of, of an initiative, right? And then, you know, learn from that and then change or adapt or pivot and, uh, and do it again. Yeah, I, that, that's something I really, uh, really focus on. So it's uh, it's about uh, efficiency. It's about uh, ROI. Those those two two things are uh, are important. For example, you know, a couple of months uh, back, we invested in the sales commission tool, right? 